I got to admire how she's able to find good about these pieces. No, she's dope. She's actually dope. Now let's look at a luxury house. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. After seeing the other houses, this is going to be fucking mind boggling. This is where it's going to be. Hopefully. に本って自然が美しい緑が美しい国なんですねで、そこにあのま、多くの家が建ってるんですけどあの、新しい家ってその土地の良さを無視した家があの、多く建ってますで、我々はちょっとそういう家作りはしたくないなっていうことでその我々
かしはもうそのジョイントでそのまま繋いでやってるとで釘でただ打つだけだったんですけど今はやっぱりもう工法が変わってこうやって金物でそれに対して金物で補強して繋げてるんで耐震性とかも,もう抜群に良くなってますねはい。Bro, how the fuck? There's no way. It's a lot like Amish house building, all jigsaw, no nails. I can't see that being a sustainable structure, man. Birbirine geçimli yapılar full binalar. Bunların ahşap işçiliği efsanedir. It is dumbass. Wait, really? Good joint work holds forever. We've been doing it forever. They're a house from over a century ago. Oh, is that what makes it earthquake proof? Like it's more stability because of the pressures that they apply. So there's like more give and take without anything coming off. They use they have to use metal brackets and braces too. Chat, there are three thousand year old temples in Japan built like this? Dude, no shot. Japanese houses are actually not built to last forever. That's part of the whole deal. Wait, what do you mean? It feels like there's I'm getting conflicting takes. Half the chat is saying, "Bro, there are 3,000-year-old temples," and the other half of the chat is saying, ま、今までで見た中で結構こう斬新っていうか、ま、あの、建物の形といい、ま、中の仕様といい、結構面白い、あの、やり方をやってるんで、ま、結構興味があって楽しいですね、やってて。そこが一番やっぱり、あの、思
we'll kind of get to see this later, but it's only a hint rather, again, rather than the, the full picture immediately. So this entire kind of wing of the house, this is kind of like the, uh, the night space. This is where my bedroom and my wife's bedroom, as well as the kid's bedroom is. And leading down this hallway is this big long desk, which is kind of lined with this bookshelf here and then up here as well. Going back to lighting, the uh, another thing that this architect loves, loves to do is to use what's called indirect lighting. It makes it more difficult to look directly at the light source while still providing ample lighting for studying. But if you look across the way right there, that's where the kitchen is. And my wife and I will be able to check on the kids, you know, like when they're studying or call them from dinner for, for dinner or whatever it might be across across the courtyard like that. And it's um, it's a really cool kind of feature. The, the guy, the architect, another thing that he really strives for is to not create houses in which it's easy to get away from the other family members. He said that it's common for teens to have, a, of course, that rebellious phase. And if you give them um, a really kind of easy way out to escape from the, you know, the other members of the house, they often do and avoid and avoid people. But in putting the desk here, <laughs> they, they can't really run away unless they want to like study on the floor. Although I do that sometimes. So I guess that, that is an option. And then over here, Oh, God damn it, my fucking audio cut out. <laughs> Finally, a good take. Yo, this shit. That shit went wild on mute. That shit was flames. I will never give you that take again. I will never give you that take again. <laughs> I was spitting, dude. You'll never hear that take again. Here, this is going to be the master bedroom, which is funny because it's, it's smaller than the kids' bedroom. But uh, this is it. Having a house in Japan, again, it gets extremely hot during the summer here and you absolutely need air conditioners. Now in a slightly larger house, that means you have to get like maybe between four, five, six, seven air conditioners, depending on, again, like the number of rooms and that kind of thing. And the architect said, we could do that. We could put a, sing a single individual air conditioner in each room. But one of the things that I've been meaning to do with uh, this, this new company that we ended up building with is try a central air heating system. And it really adds to the, what would you say, the unconscious feel of minimalism <laughs> that you get when you walk through the house. So now we're gonna go check out kind of the kitchen, family room, living room area of the house. Now I don't cook at all, but my wife is an incredible cook and in that sense, um, the kitchen was a very important uh, detail. My wife is constantly, constantly, constantly cooking. So she's often working the entire day in the kitchen. She's very conscious about like kind of nutrition and that kind of thing. And so we were very particular. She was very particular about the kitchen. And again, because she's working in the kitchen for so long, one of the things, the things that she didn't like about the current kitchen is that it's got the low kitchen hood that um, sucks up the hot air. And one of the things that she, she asked the architect was, is there any way we could make like an alternative solution that would get like the, the fumes out of the house? Now, in the States, they have those, well, in the States and in other uh, places, it's fairly common these days to have like a, a little thing here. Big wife guy. That was a potential option, but it was too expensive. So the architect actually came up with this other solution 
where the hot air goes up through here and then there's a high power fan up in here that spits it outside of the house and it's like this is where the refrigerator will why did you go to roomy movie night what the fuck that go and i believe that this is like not like the standard refrigerator size but it's like this area was built to be the, the size of our current refrigerator and it, that's kind of one of the standard refrigerator sizes in japan earlier <laughs> i was talking about how you can only get a glimpse of the courtyard um through that window down there and again that window is in this house does not suck i mean there's definitely some issues but I think it's nice. It's really fucking nice. It's spacious as shit. It's like the size of eight houses. What? Wait, what? No shot. YRG is your rage gaming. But it's probably a different, probably like something else, obviously. They're not. To be fair, he's a Florida motherfucker. He needs to be investigated. Chill, dude. Intentionally small, such that when you walk over here, you can kind of, as you can see, the ceiling is still a little bit small or low down here, but then it opens up over here. And at the same time, kind of not same time, but around the same area that it opens up, we also have this giant window right here. And this is the only way to get into the courtyard from the inside of the house. And, um, the other really cool thing about this is that this entire thing <clears throat> goes into this wall here. It's all behind this like single uh, part of the wall here. But now we've got this big open area right here. And this looks amazing at night. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you know, you know, you can get some stars up there, and it's a little cloudy today. Yeah, it's raining a little bit right now, but um, yeah, like, oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> oh wow, and yeah, I mean, I how, and this what what this is? This isn't a a, a proper engawa because what an engawa is in Japan, it's like a lot of Japanese houses have like these long kind of what thing something that looks like this and what this is meant for is that it, it gives a way for a person that owns the house to interact with a guest without um, the guest actually coming into the house so by having a fair amount of surface area that's kind of like in between the inside and outside of the house that's still you know covered underneath the roof you can like, you know, have like a, a cup of tea with someone, but if you're, if the inside of your house is like super messy and you don't want to necessarily have a guest inside. Right He's a YouTuber. His wife must have money. What do you mean, bro? He's a YouTuber. I think a lot of people don't understand how fucking rich YouTubers are. You think like Twitch streamers are fucking caked up. Okay. Here's the thing. One thing I have noticed about this. One thing I've noticed about this is that when you're living in Japan, I think a part of your brain just uh, short circuits or something, and then you end up describing normal things that every house would have. You the rich communist? Yes. And no. 
He's just describing normal shit that every house has in ways that are like unimaginable. But like he'll be looking at a patio and he's like, well, this is, this is a, an own cousin or whatever. And honestly, it's pretty crazy to, to be able to have this. And I'm like, that's, that's a patio. That's just, I, I mean, I made it up. I don't think he said on consent, but. And Gawa. He's just, he's like, he, he's talking about air conditioning, dude. Any ranters? Wait. This are you talking about Valorant? Because Oh, he said yeah. This man texted me, he said, want to rant. And I was like, what the fuck's he talking about? Like, is he trying to get mad as shit? Check out how crazy the crowd is with Bruce K. and Warren G. and Six Flags. No way. calls a rant I hope they have good security so Joshi can I get a picky wiki I'm saying nice bathroom for real Abi Japonya bırak Türkçe bir şey söyle. Siktir lan. Why did you read that? Cuz my fucking mods, man. I read them. Not gonna lie, I got kind of bored of this apartment. I thought it was gonna be crazy. I'm down to play Valorant. 